up, y'all? <clears throat> I ain't made a video in a minute. Well, um, you got one today, man. You see the title. You see the title. So I'm gonna basically, this video, I'm gonna basically explain like what's been going on. With my car. You see, I'm in a car, but I ain't in that SRT. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, this is my new car. I just picked it up uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, Hyundai Sonata, something to uh, get around and rip and run in, do some Uber, lift, stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead. Get right into it, man. Basically, uh, we in mid December. I ain't had my car since May, October. It's been sixty. It's been sixty days, like literally sixty days. Sorry about the seatbelt, y'all. Already know how that goes. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit changed. But um, so basically, um, one day I had started it up. And it started like it, it was hesitant to start. So uh, it drove normal and everything. But that same day at nighttime, I was driving, maybe going about 40, 50, and the whole car just cut off. Like, loss of power. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? So I t uh, the power already off. You know what I'm saying? But since it's, it's push start, I turn I turn the power all the way off. Uh, now, like, the car off. So then I started back up, and, man, it sound fucked up. Like, it sound like it ain't want to stop, but it did stop. So I'm like, shit. So I, I went ahead and drove home, parked it. So I ended up taking it to the shop that, that uh, it was a Friday. I took it to the shop that Monday. Um, I took it to Pet Boy, St. Barnabas Road. I'll never fuck with them ever again. Um, for y'all who not in uh, DC, Merlin of Virginia, you you not gonna really know um, about that um, that location, the Pet Boys. But man, never again. Uh, and also, uh, when it was cutting off, I was getting zero oil pressure. Take it into them, they like, oh, you need a new oil pump. Or you could, uh, they said you need a new oil pump or you could um, tune it so that your oil pump stay high or something like that. And I'm like, huh? That don't even make sense. Like, But um, anyway, they was bullshitting me for about two, three weeks. Come to find out, uh, they like, oh, well, the problem, you got to take it back to the dealer. I mean, you got to take it to the dealer because it's a manufacturer's uh, defect. And by the, I got a warranty too. Um, I mean, I guess you already know that. But um, I had got them involved, and uh, basically, Pet Boys was responding to them. Um, and they told they told the warranty company that I had to take it to a dealer because it was a manufacturer's defect. And the whole time at Pet Boys. They giving me status updates. They giving me status updates on the wrong car. Like, I'm professional. Like, they telling me it's done. They never did shit. I go up there to get it, and they looking confused. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, so unprofessional. Um, so, anyway, I end up taking it to Dark Cars, Marlo Heights. Another one I'll never fuck with again. Um, so, it's there now. Uh... Now they doing diagnostic. They end up giving my car an oil change, which I didn't need because SRTs go uh, 6,000 miles. I was only at about 3,000, 3,500. But I'm like, if he said that's what the code was reading. So I'm like, all right, go ahead, change it. So I got it back for a couple hours. And I drove it hard on purpose coming home just to see, to get it up the temperature to see if the oil pressure would, would drop, man. It did. It came by the oil pressure light came, well, on uh, on uh, these Dodges, um, 
Chrysler Jeeps, especially the performance oriented uh, vehicles. They got the uh, oil pressure, they got all the gauges and stuff built into the U Connect so you can see it. Uh, so the oil pressure it illuminated red because it went under 10, uh, it went under 10, so it illuminated. So I'm like, nah, it ain't right. So I took it back. Then they like, all right, we gotta do some more diagnostics. They end up um, changing the oil pressure sensor. Then he took it on the test drive. Said that uh, it broke down, like it started stalling and cut off and everything. So uh, couldn't really. He ended up getting it towed back to the shop. Um, and he basically like, yeah, you need a new motor. So I'm gonna have the service advisor contact the warranty company and see like what's the next steps. And mind you, and they finessed me on that too, because they end up charging me $240 for the tow. Ain't never say the tow was gonna call, so they never called me and notified me that my car got needed to be towed anything because with my warranty company I got free towing so that could have been you know what I'm saying towed for free and they never told me I had to pay for towing or anything until I got the receipt and they still didn't tell me I just seen it so uh, anyway uh, did some more digging after they changed the oil pressure sensor found metal shavers on the OCV oil control valve and FCA says once that happens replace the motor So, but the warranty company is still like, that's not enough. Like we need to know exactly where it's coming from. So the dealer telling me I had to pay 1500 up front uh, for them to take out the motor. And I'm like, why you have to take out the whole motor? Like the warranty company didn't say that. They said, find out where the metal shaver is coming from. And they telling me like, no, they told us they want us to take out the whole motor. But every time I call the warranty company, they never said that. So I'm like, what's up with y'all, man? Like, they not telling me what y'all say they said. So, uh, I'm like, man, look, why can't I pay y'all at two hour increments? You know what I'm saying? Why would I pay y'all for 13 hours worth of work at for $1,500 and you don't even know how long it's gonna take to find the problem. It's not, a, it wasn't a repair. Well, you know exactly, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing. It's a diagnostic. Which means you can find it in two hours. You can find it in four hours. But the way these these companies are, I know if they find it in two or three hours, they going to still say it took the whole 13. They ain't not going to want to give me my money back. So the dude basically was saying, look, man, we not going to play back and forth. And uh, I don't got time for game. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm a paying customer. Like what? What do you what do you say? So I'm like basically you telling me is it's either I pay the fifteen hundred or nothing at all, and they like yeah. So at this point I'm mad. I'm like nah, that's that ain't how this gonna go at all. Cause nah. So I go up there. I had to leave work early that day and everything. Cause the type of job I got, I kind of like I gotta be focused. So I can't really outside stuff. I can't let that stuff affect my work. You know what I'm saying? So. I had to leave because I couldn't focus. So I get up there and I'm like, yeah, man, give me my car because y'all tripping. Like, y'all trying to finesse me. Y'all don't want to do it in two hour increments, even though I'm paying, but y'all would just take 13 hours of $1,500 lump sum, though. And y'all don't even know how long it's going to take. And they like, it is going to take that long because they want us to take out the whole mode. So I'm like, look, so now I'm talking to a man. I'm like, well, look, man, since we keep coming up with different stuff, how about we call them? right now while i'm in here we don't gotta worry about oh they said this they said that we could both hear exactly what they said and they didn't want to do it they like nah we're not gonna call so that right there let me let lets me know that they want some bullshit because y'all y'all keep calling me saying what they said we can both we can call them right here right now and we get both hear exactly what they say but they didn't want to do it um at this point, I was just ready to get my car. I was only supposed to pay nine hundred, um, and some of that would have been able to. I would have been able to uh, submit a receipt for and get back from my warranty company. Um, 
but the bill was 1200 so i'm like why is it 1200 he like oh the diagnostic and the, the breakdown time and all this other stuff so um but before the uh, like i said once they said they didn't want to call when i'm talking to the manager i'm like nah y'all tripping and the manager like why are you coming in here like i'm like look your your service advisor sent me in here so stop asking me why did i come in your office and he sent me in here you got to take that up with him so i guess he ain't like the way i came in or i don't know to be honest um even though his his employee sent me in there you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get some handle and you the manager and you acting nonchalant and then i'm trying to call them so we could both hear what they say and you like nah so you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all trying to get get me out of my money now. So for whatever reason, he walked by me and elbowed me, and I pushed him. So now we going back and forth. Uh, I went up there with my father. Uh, so now we going back and forth. Uh, all the service advisors, all the mechanics, they in the office. We yelling. <clears throat> I mean, dudes, face. They like, man, you better get out. I'm like, man. Put me out your face. I'm not moving. Y'all got crazy. I ain't just trying to finesse people out their money. Like, nah, that's not going down. One dude gonna say he ain't bump you. I'm like, Slim, how the fuck you know if he bumped me or not? You wasn't even looking. So how do you know? You know what I'm saying? I don't have no reason to just push somebody. Yeah, I was I was frustrated. But come on, man. I could push somebody and kill him as big as I am. Like, what the, what the fuck would I do that for for no reason? Like, y'all tripping up here. That's so why I said once, once all this stuff start coming up, I'm like, man, I'd never come to them again anyway. You know what I'm saying? I bought two cars from that location. It's just ridiculous, man, that the customer service with these people. Um, anyway, they end up calling the police for whatever reason. Um, even though he fucking hit, he uh, elbowed me first. You know what I'm saying? Um, the police is the asshole asking dumb questions like why am i here like clearly i didn't call you he called you and he explained to you so you know why the fuck you hit so i'm like i came up here to get my car we was arguing he walked by elbowed me and i pushed him case closed and he told me well why was y'all arguing sim that don't even fucking matter i got to the good part he elbowed me i pushed him that's it he called you i don't know what what he called you for you know what i'm saying so he been an asshole Nothing happened. He took down my information for whatever reason, said that they barred me. I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm paying. I'm talking to the service advisor. He like, yeah, I'm like, how the fuck you get the 1200? He like, yeah, that's the extra hours. And at this point, I'm just ready to go. I called the tow truck, getting ready to take it to the third shop. And um, I was speed reading and I didn't, it wasn't until after I paid that I looked and seen that they charged me $240 for the tow. When that should have never been the case, you know what I'm saying? For one, the car was in y'all possession. So y'all telling me y'all don't have no partner tow truck company or anything like that. Or if any, if y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? If I still had to pay, when the car broke down, I should have been notified. That way I could I could let you all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I could have said, all right, well, I have my my, my uh, warranty company send a tow truck out there. It would have been free. You know what I'm saying? But they never said... Oh, it's gonna cost. So they never even told me they had, it had to be told until it was already told and back at uh, the shop. So now I'm over with them. I take my car to the Waldorf Dodge, like basically like right up Branch, and um, which, where is that, which is where I should have took it from the jump. Um, a, few, a few guys told me to take it there from the beginning, but. You know what I'm saying? I took a, I took it to Dark Horse, Marlow Heights, Dodge, because it was just close. At that point, I had my car for a month, so I'm just like, man, I just need this shit back. So I took it, took it dead, but um, my bro uh, from the Sandbox, uh, Eli, he like, man, he he uh, said that uh, World of Dodge did some good work. Should have took it dead. Um, and... We got the uh, SRT Jeep review coming soon, as soon as he stopped bullshitting. But, um, and uh, a good dude I met at uh, my people's car show, uh, Kenny, he got a, uh, 
He got SRT 300 like me too. He told me that I should have just took it there. But you know what I'm saying? Now I know. But Wall of Dodge, uh, good peoples, good peoples. They real professional. Know what they doing and all that. Uh, I took it there, dropped it off at night. They was texting me 7 a.m. the next morning, getting more details. Didn't need nothing up front. You know what I'm saying? I just had to authorize uh, them to go ahead and uh, do the work, but you know what I'm saying? Nothing up front. So they did it. Uh, I let them know I had a warranty. Uh, so then they got back with me in a few days. Said, yeah, we dropped the oil pad. We found the metal shavings in there. Um, and one, and your burns are shot. So yeah, you need a new motor. You know what I'm saying? So now the warranty company got the information they need. The time I talked to all those dogs, he already told me, yeah, he set up the appointment for them to send somebody out to inspect it, take pictures and do a report. They would be out in the next 24 to 48 hours. So I'm like, all right, cool. He already ahead of the game. So those days go by, the dude come. They take, uh, I guess, like a day um, to do what they do. Um, they end up calling him back and said, we denying the claim. Um, and they told him, because I don't know how this is going to go, uh, I'm going to just, I'm a, I can't be real specific. So they told him one thing was the reason they denied it. And they told me when I called to verify another. So I'm like, huh? And then what they told me, I'm like, this ain't even making sense. Like, this don't have nothing to do with the problem at hand. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm like, ain't nobody I can talk to. And they like, nah, everybody the, who could make a decision, like, like overturn or, you know what I'm saying, is gone. So I did me some research. And um, now I, I'm creating a paper trail. So I sent them an email. Um, one of the reasons they said they, well, the reason they told me they denied it was be, was because of uh, something aftermarket that I have on there. But it, like I said, it has nothing to do with the problem, the metal shaving. Uh, but I reached out to that company, had them write it, write me an email back saying the purpose of the part that I have on there and what it does and why I shouldn't deny claim and everything so I have that um uh so I sent them the email I didn't attach anything to it um but the warranty uh exclusions and everything which they did send to me until a month and a half until them knowing my car uh was in the shop so like I never got anything that said what you can or cannot do until we on the phone and she like, oh, I can send you a copy, but I know, like, mind you, I had the car since the summer. I just got it, so I just got the exclusions and everything. So I attached that back to the email saying, look, y'all, you guys just sent this to me. Um, so I'm basically just waiting now for them to tell me why via email my claim was denied and go from there. But they told me something different. Uh, they told the guys at the shop one thing and then they told me another so it's like they just trying to they trying to find a way out of paying for the motor and i think uh the shop told me out of pocket it'd be like 9510 grand so they trying to find a way not to pay um so i'm basically just waiting on them to email me back and uh better decide uh what happens next so I have to I have to make an update video like once everything comes out uh, and I could get more specific. But um uh, yeah man that's where we at. So I'm just waiting for them to email me back. I got some I'm waiting for something from the shop uh, as like my proof. Like I said I can't really get into it. But I'm waiting for that. Uh, I got an email back from a company. Uh, one of the parts that I got on. And, um, yeah, it's just a waiting game now. But it's been six, it's been two months. You know what I'm saying? Without my car. Yeah, 
and it ain't paid off, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I still gotta pay that note, driving it or not, you know what I'm saying? So, it's been a headache, man, to be honest. But, as soon as they email back and some stuff get, uh, get the movement, I'll make an update video. But yeah, man, I'ma be in the Sonala. Every day, weekends, all that. That's our T at his third shop. Third shop has been the best, though. I appreciate Waldorf Dogs. But yeah, man. As soon as I get an update, I'll update y'all. I'm gonna try to get this, uh, as soon as bro stop playing, try to get this, uh, SRT Jeep review for y'all. And yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Peace.